Hey, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. If you're a longtime viewer, thank you so much for the continued support. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and turn on the notifications so that when new videos come out, you can check them out and join the community. So today we're gonna to be going over how to make a Maria, which is one of the fundamental building blocks to blowing glass. It seems like a simple technique. It's really great to practice and I can't wait to show it to you guys. If you have any questions about blowing glass, please feel free to go to revereglass.com, join the online community, and I'll be able to be there to help you one-on-one -on -one with your work. In each of the How to Blow Glass videos, I'm gonna be giving away a one month free trial to the mentorship subscription level at revereglass.com. If you'd like to be part of the community or if you just wanna comment in general, please leave something on the video, we'll check it out, and one of you guys will win a free mentorship for a month at revereglass.com. I wanted to thank our sponsor, Mountain Glass Arts. If you guys are starting out blowing glass or if you've been blowing glass for a while, Mountain Glass Arts is the best place to get your supplies, your color, your tools. They ship anywhere in the world. They're very friendly and their customer service is definitely on point. If you have any questions, they're there to help you guys get started with glass blowing. Thank you so much for checking this out. Let's get right into the studio and do it. All right, welcome back you guys. I'm really excited to be doing these fundamental videos with you. They're called How to Blow Glass. I'm gonna be going over studio setup, basic techniques, and just everything that you're gonna to need to know to get started blowing glass. If you'd like further, more in-depth questions answered or direct connection and mentorship with me, please go to revereglass.com and sign up for the free trial or even better, the mentorship level. So what we're gonna do here is called a Maria. And I have three different size rods, 10 millimeter, seven millimeter, and four millimeter. And each one of these rods gets progressively more difficult as they get smaller and smaller. So if you'd like something a little bit easier to practice, start with the 10 millimeter rod and then move down smaller and smaller. What I'm trying to do is create a small gather of glass and I'm heating up the 10 millimeter rod nice and even, going back and forth, letting it cool fully, and then pushing it as well. So you can see I have a couple of camera angles for you guys. I have the over the shoulder, the top view, which we're looking at now, and then of course the front view, so you can see my hand movements. And sometimes you take this out of the glass and rock back and forth, and that kind of helps it stay even. One of the tricks that helps me remember how to keep this on center is to imagine a small string through the center of the glass and always keeping that in alignment. You don't wanna pull on this, that will get it off center and make it thinner, but you do wanna imagine that there is a small string or an alignment all the way through. If you can keep these centered, each one progressively will be easier and easier. So I'm just heating it up and then I'm pushing just a little bit, rocking back and forth, letting it cool. Now that I have the 10 millimeter rod finished, I'm gonna start working on the seven millimeter one. So I'm gonna turn my flame down a little bit so I'm heating up less of the glass at once. I'm gonna heat it up, take it out of the flame just a little bit and then start to push and finish the shape off completely outside of the flame. I rock back and forth and I feel like that kind of helps me keep it centered and cool. I'll go in for the next one here. And if you put this closer to your candles, you're gonna be hotter. And if you pull it further away from your candles, the flame will be a little bit cooler. So you can kind of adjust where in the flame you are and that will help the speed of the glass at which it's melting. So I'm just gonna heat it up, push together, and then rock back and forth. I'd recommend that you make a bunch of these Marias to start off, just to practice, to get your hands warm, get familiar with the medium. And try to make them all the same, exactly the same. And you can continue to make these in different shapes as well. By pushing further and harder, you're gonna be making a little bit longer and more of an elliptical shape. And by pushing less, you'll make a little bit more of a spherical shape. I'm gonna heat this up and then rock back and forth, put it back in the flame. 
I'd recommend you start on one side and work all the way to the other side. So I'm starting on the left side and working all the way to the right. And that way, I'm not going back and forth, reheating an area and potentially causing cracks or unevenness. If your rod gets uneven, go ahead and heat it up and try to adjust it a little bit to make it as centered as possible. That'll really help you along the way. So I'm gonna heat it up, push just a little bit, and there we go, we have another Maria. This is one of the very first things to do to practice. And we're gonna have some more different exercises and um, more fundamentals and how-tos coming up under the How to Blow Glass series. If you'd like to win a free mentorship to revereglass.com, please make a comment in the video and we'll choose a winner every time we do a how to blow glass video. So now I'm down to the four millimeter, it might be a three millimeter rod, and I'm using an even smaller flame and just pushing a little bit. And this is gonna be really, really fast because the glass is so thin, you have to hold the glass a little further from the candles and just go in nice and slow, making sure that you push really evenly and try to keep that on center. It's okay to waste a little bit of glass while you're doing this, and that's part of the process. And this is pretty cheap to make this practice, and you could even use these in later pieces if you'd like. But you should definitely spend your time practicing on things that cost less money, like a single rod of glass as opposed to a fancy color. And then you're working with a fancy color that may be $160 a pound, but you're not quite able to get it in the kiln. All right, so now I'm making a few more of these Marias, and you can make as many as you can fit onto one rod. It's really good practice. If you have any specific techniques that are fundamental techniques that you'd like to see, please make sure you leave that in the comments as well. And I'd love to see what you guys do with this technique, feel free to post these on the Torch Facebook group, or even better, Boral Babble on revereglass.com is the community forum, and you don't even have to have a paid subscription to post there. All right, I'm gonna push these together. You can see the first two that I made on the bench there. These are kind of fun to make, and you can also use these for multiple different projects. If you look on my Instagram, at revereglass, of course, a Sherlock that I made with a cage and the goblet from season two, I used the Maria's as the basic building block and structure of the cage or the sculpture that I was making. So this is something that you'll continually use. You'll continually use for all the different kinds of work that you're going to make. I'm pushing the last ones together. You set those down. I'll show you what these guys look like. So you can see that these all these spheres are very close in size and very close in shape and that's what you're going for when you're starting off you're trying to get everything uniform and that's really really good practice that will add fundamental foundational skills that you can use throughout your glass blowing career i really appreciate you guys watching thanks so much stay tuned and we'll announce the winner from last time i hope to see you guys soon thank you so much thank you so much for checking out the maria's and making these with me. If you have any questions about how to make Maria's or want some more guided instruction, please go to revereglass.com for the online school. You can join the community of other people learning all around the world at just the same stage that you are. I really appreciate you guys checking this video out. Make sure you leave a comment to win a free one month mentorship on revereglass.com. This time we're gonna give away that mentorship to Polly G. Thank you so much for your comment on the last video. Please go to the website Open up the chat on the bottom right and just let us know that you're there and we'll hook you up. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you like and subscribe and turn on those notifications. It really helps the channel out and then you'll know when we're releasing new videos. Thanks a lot. I'll see you soon. Maria's are going and why you'd like to... Just fucking send me a mount. Like send me the link on Amazon for a mount. <laughs> Mount? Do you guys think we should get a mount for this light? Just keep doing it like this.